What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want me to customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Albany Frankenstein, and honestly, I thought it was pronounced Frankenstange, but Apparently, according to Google, it's pronounced Frankenstein in English, like Mustang, but Frankenstein, so there you go. <laughs> now, the name of this car is actually Swedish, so it would be pronounced Frankenstein in that language. Also, the name Franken is a reference to Frankenstein because he was the one driving it in the show that this car is based from. And the second part of this name, which is Stang, translates to Rod, so the name Frankenstein pretty much translates to Frankenstein's hot rod, which I think is just super cool, very creative and clever of Rockstar to do for sure. So this car came out with the Halloween surprise update in October of 2015. This car can be found on the Southern San Andreas website for $550,000. And to quickly mention, for those of you who don't own this car, it is only available for purchase during the Halloween event weeks, and the same goes for the Lurcher. So if you do not own it now and you do not buy it during the couple Halloween event weeks, you have to wait until next year <laughs> to buy it again. So if you want either one of the two, definitely make sure you buy it before the event weeks end. Now in terms of performance, this vehicle is in the Sports Classics class. Personally, I would have preferred it in the Muscle Car class so that we can do some epic wheelies with it, but Sports Classics still isn't too bad, it still fits it pretty well. At least they didn't put it in a sports class like almost every car they add in, so. Anyways, it's pretty much at the bottom of the class in terms of performance. It's not very fast, doesn't really handle that great, but it does have pretty good brakes, which the Rat Truck and Hustler don't really have that well, so at least it has decent brakes, but straight line performance, again, isn't really all that great. Now the reason players in the community, including myself, love this car is because of the amazing exhaust note. It's insane, kind of like hot rod styling. It literally looks like a Hot Wheels car, and I just love it for that. It's just different. But anyways, in terms of what the Frankenstein is based on, it's primarily based on the Munster coach from the 1960s TV show, The Munsters. And I think it's just incredible how someone at Rockstar actually did the research to add something like this in the game, which to me couldn't have been more creative or unique. Just an unbelievable addition to the game especially with its name as well I talked about earlier. All around, great, great car. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of Frankenstein's Hot Rod. What are we doing All right, Frankenstein, sports classics. Again, I wish it was a muscle, but what are we gonna do? All right, armor, brakes, engine, hood. Triple intake bug catcher, and the single intake, okay. And while I'm here, you can see those belts spinning there, the engine moving back and forth. So you wanna rev it up, you can see a little better there. So fun fact, when this car first came out in October of 2015, the belts actually did not move, the drive belts for the car. So it wasn't until later on when they actually <laughs> made them spin. Um, I'm not sure what update it was, I'm, I think it was the Executives and Other Criminals update, I can't remember which one. Um, but eventually, through one of the updates, it was actually updated to spin, which I think is just super, super cool. Um, and even on the stock one as well, they still spin, so that's nice. Uh, now, personally, I kind of prefer the uh, the stock hood with the pipes, kind of like the ramp pipes sticking out. I think it just looks really, really cool, kind of matches the look of a car. Plus, that's what the original one had. Um, so I think I'm just going to keep that, to be honest. Uh, continuing here, interior. So you do have ornaments. Uh, kind of like similar to Benny's. See all the different ornaments here. And further down, we have some of the Halloween ones. You can see here, look super cool. <laughs> um, and you have the best fitting one for this by far, which is the purple suit Frank bobblehead. So Frankenstein right here, I think that's probably the best one. Um, and you got some other ones here as well. But definitely to me, I think the Frankenstein one is the one we're going to do. I think it suits it the best by far. Backing out there, lights, headlights, I'm gonna leave the yellow for sure. Liveries, so you have the Midnight Potion, 
pretty much just purple flames with some pinstriping on the valve covers as well. Very nice. I think it has some back here as well. Yep. Love that. Um, then you have the pretty much orange flames version of that. Also pinstriping on the back. Valve covers as well. Then you have Blazing Death, so nothing on the valve covers, but it does have the skull on the side on fire, very, very cool. Um, and nothing back here as well, so it's only on the side. Um, very, I like I like that, it's different. Then you got Spider Trap, very subtle. It's got pinstripe on the uh, front fenders, uh, valve covers, the side door, goes around the back as well, a little bit here in the back by the tail lights. Um, not bad, I like that one a lot. And I think, oh yeah, it also puts a little bit right here on the rear fenders as well. Oh yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Well, I think I, th I like this one a lot. The spider trap, very subtle. And with the paint color we're going to do, I think that's going to look best. So I think we're going to do that one. Respray. So, speaking of the paint color. So for this one, I kind of want it to look like blood red, but very, very dark. Um, so we're going to do a crew black as our base. Um, we're going to do that there. A secondary, we're gonna make it match, crew black, and then we're gonna go back to primary, pearlescent. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a candy red pearlescent on it, and you can see it's still very dark, but depending on how the sun hits it, that candy red pops out of you, which is what I want, and I think it just looks incredible on this car, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people complain about this. The interior of this car is forced to be purple. You cannot change it. So it's forced in this kind of bright purple color. You can't do anything about it. It just is what it is. You just have to embrace it and accept that it's just part of the car, um, which is something people really don't like to complain about. But I still think it's very cool and different. Uh, Kremlin for this car goes on the side of the door. Okay. Suspension. I think we're going to lower just a little bit, not too much though. Yeah, lower all the way, especially with the way the rear fenders line up with the tires. Not a fan of that. Um, I think we'll do the street suspension. Alright, street suspension. Transmission, turbo. So for wheels, um, it comes stock with these wheels here. Um, I already put the chrome ones on it beforehand. You can see they have a difference. Uh, I just prefer the chrome. I was gonna put those anyways. The the alloy stock ones just don't look great on this car. I think the chrome definitely goes with it. So for those of you wondering which ones I put, those are where are they? Right here, the Dukes and Chrome. I think those look best. We have those there. Continuing windows. So we got light smoke limo. Um, I think we'll make them limo. Why not? It does not tint the front windshield, and of course there's no back glass because the back is open, so um, I guess we'll just make it limo there. Kind of no point in doing that because anybody can see it from this angle, but, but we put it anyways, and that's all the options there. Alright, not too bad. Let's go ahead and take it for a drive, exit to ground. This thing looks so, so cool. Great exhaust note. It's kind of like a hot rod version of the Roosevelt, which I think is just super cool. All right, rev it up here. Sounds absolutely incredible. This thing is definitely in my top five exhaust notes for sure. It's just sounds so angry, so loud, and the idle as well. Man, what a car! It just sounds so so good. Now again, unfortunately, it isn't a sports classics class. It's not on the muscle car class, so I can't do a wheelie with it, which I think would have been really cool with this car, but. Is what it is. Let's go ahead and floor it here. Tons of wheel spin. It's going, it's going. And the back end is super wide. You gotta be very careful with how you go around cars and how you drive this thing. Super wide rear tires. I just love it. I really do. We're floored right now. It's, I mean, it moves decently. I wouldn't say it's fast. <laughs> Um, it is pretty much almost like at the bottom, and that's 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 the problem with the rear fenders. It's like at the bottom of the, the Sports Classics class for performance, pretty much. You know, it's not a performance car. It's just a quirky, fun, classic hot rod. I think, you know, I think Rockstar knocked out of the park with that concept. Um, great exhaust note, great interior. Obviously, I can't drive it. <laughs> it's not, not easy to drive, because... Um, 
is kind of like loose, but also has understeer at the same time. It's just weird. And you can see, it just loses traction right there. Um, and handles as you would expect it to, pretty much. Um, but again, I think it's just something very nice to have in the game. And what's really cool about this car, a lot of people don't know this, um, it only comes around during Halloween. Now, if you already own it, it won't go away from the website, but if you do not own it, it's not available to purchase on the website. Same thing like, same thing goes for the Lurcher, so it only comes back uh, during Halloween. So, fun little fact there for those of you who didn't know. Um, why, you know, if you wonder why it goes away, or if you still have it all the time, that's why. <laughs> Alright, let's pull it up here. It's open on the doors and stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, look at that color in the sun. I love it. It's like dark in the shade. You see there. Very, very dark. But then we pull out on the sun. That pearl pops out. It looks so, so good. Alright. Open all the doors here. Vehicle doors. Do all. There we go. Alright, so the only thing that opens is just the doors, obviously. Because there's no, there's no trunk. There's no hood. <laughs> so... You got front and rear door, so this car does seat four people. Um, you got the interior there from the Roosevelt. Very cool. The back there. Again, I wish we could change the interior color. Um, just is what it is with this car. That's just part of buying it. That's how a lot of people just paint the car like midnight purple or something. But I didn't want to do that because that's what most people do. Um, I want to do something a little different, like a blood red, which is what we did. Um, that, you know, even darker. A little more subtle on the red but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments i personally love this car i've never sold it i've had the same one since it came out in 2015 had this car forever <laughs> yeah just super super cool oh and i almost forgot even though you can barely hear it over the uh the engine the thing does have the horn from like a tractor i think you can hear it there Pretty cool. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 or do you guys want me to customize next. Um, I really want to customize the Lurcher next. I mean, might as well since we're on that Halloween uh, theme. I think the Lurcher would be the perfect build for next week. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.